Hi guys, in this video we are going to be making a progress bar or also known as a loader for our web browser. So for example, if you go to a website like hackstories.com, let's type in hackstories.com and press the go button. It is not showing us any indication that it has started to load the website and it just finally loads the website. So we are going to fix this thing. So first of all, let's go to our activity underscore main.xml and under this web view, we are going to make something known as a progress bar. So we are going to type progress bar over here and width as wrap content, height as wrap content. We are going to give it an ID, ID of progress bar. And this is pretty much it. So as you can see, our progress bar is over here. So now let's go to our backend file. And just like these buttons, we'll de declare our progress bar. And then below, just like these buttons, we are going to initialize our progress bar. And progress bar, find view by ID. R dot ID dot progress bar. Now we are going to create something known as set web Chrome client. It's just like the set web view client. And what we are going to do that is initialize our loader. We could have also done this in our view client dot Java class, but I wanted you guys to learn something different. That's why we are going to make a set web Chrome client. So let's get into it. Let's name it brow just like the above and name it set. Now we'll go to select the first thing. We're going to press enter. Then we are going to write new web Chrome client. We are going to press enter. And then we are going to open up the curly braces. And inside this, we are going to make a function known as on progress change. So let's press tab. And then we are going to write on progress change. We are going to select the third one, press enter. Then we are going to remove the super line because we don't need it. Let's press the back button and then we are going to write progress bar that is this variable. So let's just copy this variable because I'm too lazy to write it again and just we'll paste it over here and that dot set progress. And then over here we are going to write this variable. Let's just copy it and paste it over here. And then below this we are going to write a if condition that is if new progress is equal to equal to 100 then do something else do something else and then inside this if else statement we are going to write progress bar dot set visibility view dot gone and then you are going to copy the same thing and in else statement we are going to write view dot visible so that's pretty much it so what we are going to what we are doing in this is i'm just going to recap it one time first we made a set web chrome client then we made a new object of it then after making a new object we declared a function known as on progress change and whenever on progress change is called then there is this web view view and this int new progress now when is on progress changed called on progress changed is always called when the website is loading or in the process of loading. So when the website is in on process of loading on progress change is called and on progress changed gives this new progress where the status whether the website has loaded or not or in the process of the loading process is stored in this new progress. And after that we declared a progress bar dot set progress new progress. And then in this we checked if the new progress is 100 or not. That means if the website has fully loaded or not. If the website has fully loaded, then we set the progress bar to invisible or gone. So the progress bar won't show up. But if the progress is not 100, that is the website is still loading. Then we set the progress progress bar, the visibility to visible that it's, it's going to show on our application. So let's just run it and see what happens. We are going to select our genuine motion device. Click OK. 
now that our application is loaded let's go to jenny motion and as you can see over here a loading button is coming so our hackstories.com is loading and this loader button is coming over here so if we for example if you type a website so let's just stop the loader so for example if you open a website known as google.com and press the go button we are going to see the loader comes up again and when the google.com has totally loaded it vanishes so this is pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next one